Yo, welcome back everybody to your PCGO Crime Scenes video, and today we're going to be looking at Deoxys VMAX again. Now, Deoxys VMAX is a really interesting card with a really cool ability, allowing your uh, Pokemon to take Thrillist damage from V-Stars. Obviously, the ability does stack. And, of course, we got arguably one of the best trainer gallery artworks yet, the Deoxys here with the Orbeetle. Really cool artwork, obviously very alien-inspired artwork. And I had to do a video on this artwork. And I was thinking, how do we play Deoxys VMAX again? Well, what if we just played with Arceus? But you know what? Deoxys did get a big upgrade is Raiden E-Turn. One of the cool things with this deck is being able to slap a Raiden E-Turn down, turn one, getting two Deoxys VMAX into play for free. Immediately giving you like a protection of minus 60. Actually pretty helpful going second where you can, you know, you're playing against a V-Star deck. You just put two Deoxys in play and immediately shut down your opponent's damage output. And that's really, really cool. Making them do 60 less damage right away can be pretty deadly. And that is the power of Deoxys. It's not a bad attack either. It's got 160, uh, does 160, heals 30. And it does do, uh, it does 330 HP, which is really helpful too. Being able to uh, actually have that extra bit of bulk can be very, very helpful. Um, and then, of course, we have Espeon in the deck, which is a great natural partner for this type of archetype. Again, you protect yourself from Ebeltal and from Sableye. The Espeon's really cool, too, because against Lugia, if you put two Deoxys down, it's actually really hard for, like, Lugia to one-shot an Arceus V-Star, because usually they'll go, like, four powerful energy plus a belt. But when you have two Deoxys in play, you have a lot of HP and a lot of tank. The only downside about the Deoxys E-Turn combo is you can't play Radiant Gardevoir for even more bulk, but you know what? It gets the job done nonetheless. So yeah, before we get the show, two sponsor card and TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe packouts, get your codes over at Card Cap. And of course, if you're going to be picking up any codes like Crown Zenith or older sets, or you want to get a certain code for migration over to Pokemon TCG Live, get your codes at Card Cap. And if you get anything at Card Cap at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help a Card Cavern. So shut a Card Cavern, check them out. Use code LDF. Also, check out the Shuffle Squad down below. Every week, I do post a new video over to the channel. And you can also check out my second channel, too. More LDF content. I've been posting a lot of post row content over there. I just looked at a bunch of different Lugia lists in my recent video, post rotation Lugia list to be exact, proving that Lugia is still going to be a pretty deadly deck in the rotation, even though it loses a lot. So, yeah, this is my Dio deck here. Again, I think Arceus is just a good partner to pair with. It's kind of a slow card. I mean, it does require Psychic and Double Turbo, which isn't bad, but it, again, I think it's still kind of slow. And given Arceus a bit of extra bulk is really, really nice. And again, the Espeon VMAX is really helpful too. Um, it's a good attacker too. Max Mindstorm can be an attack. Now, I am going to be playing a couple Leafy Camel Poncho in the deck. The reason for this is so that your Espeon or Deoxys can't get bossed. Deoxys does have one Achilles heel. It does have a massive retreat cost of three. So if your opponent wants to try to like stall you for a turn, they can always boss your Deoxys. And this is why Arceus is good because you can build up a Deoxys on the bench. So if they do try to boss it, you can attack with it. Or even just putting one energy on it means you can find a double turbo to attack with it if they try to boss it. But the Ponchos just give you that extra bit of protection and also lets you pivot between Deoxys. Like you can attack with it, takes a hit, you switch to the bench and then you go into another Deoxys and then you put a Poncho on the Deoxys you just switched with. Um, I am playing Sharon's Care for some even more healing and bulk. Obviously, since we're making Arceus kind of bulky with the E-Turn Deoxys combo, we can always Sharon's Care and heal it. Um, I am playing a Drapion for the Mew matchup. Um, that's really about it uh, for the list. Not much more really to talk about. Again, being able to E-Turn a couple Dio into play is nice. Of course, if we prize E-Turn or there's a path in play or we can't go down any certain route, we can always just use Deoxys V here as um, a way to get Deoxys Max into play. Deoxys V is also good against uh, Regis, I found. It can't get one-shot by the Reggie deck, and it one-shots most of the Regis, except for Gigas in return. That's kind of the cool thing with the Deoxys. So actually, I think it can one-shot Gigas with Psychic, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little attack against Regis. Against Regis, it's tough because, you know, they can Reggie rock this, they can Gigas, your Deoxys VMAX, and your Espeon. So it's one of the benefits of having the baby Dio in the deck. Um, but yeah, Deoxys VMAX here. Let's go uh, revisit this card, see in action, and uh, try it out. All right, let's try out the Deoxys deck here on PDCGO. It looks like we are going to go second. Play against potentially Lost Box. If I take a guess, this is probably Lost Box. It is beatable, I guess. Um, we have a fairly okay OP here. We got Arceus Star, which is good. No, we're playing against Palkia. Is it Palkia Gardevoir, though? Because they have Psychic in the deck. All right, Palkia actually isn't bad. The thing in this matchup is we can actually use Deoxys V-Star. Or VX. So I'm actually just going to go Radiant E-Turn. We're just going to hold the hand and just drop the E-Turn here. And we're just going to get two Deoxys V-Maxes in play. And immediately give our board state a little bit more extra bulk. So now we're taking minus 60 damage from Palkia. Now we'll say this is the Inteleon build. No, it is. I was right. It is the Gardevoir build of Palkia. I was right. It is Gardevoir Palkia. 
All right, they have two cards in hand. Is there any other card? Nope, they just subspace 12. They don't do a whole lot of damage. They do a whopping 100 damage thanks to Gar... Or, yeah, thanks to Deoxys. It's almost like Gardevoir. Thanks to good old Dio. Wouldn't mind getting a third one in play, to be honest, but... Don't know if I'm going to be able to get there right away. We have the Ultra Ball Way Energy. That feels pretty bad. Nothing I can really do about that. Yeah, I can get a third Deoxys here and then play it down, and then I can try to get three Deoxys D-Max in play. I kind of like that, actually. Let's do it. And I got to find Net here, get a turn off the board, which I can probably do with this. So we can Starbirth for DT. I like DT Charon's Care in this scenario. Because I know they're going to Marnie me, and then next turn we can just heal the Arceus. Assuming they don't knock me out, which, I mean, I guess it could happen. There's a world where they do KO me. We can go one here, one here. I do want to do... We can go one, one, one each. I kind of like that. Then we can put a double turbo on all those Deoxyses. Sure. That's fine. And I can Charon's Care, the Arceus, heal it, go Deoxys VMAX, knock him out, and we'll figure it out from there, I guess. That's the plan. We got another Rolts down... They're not doing a whole lot. I don't think they can knock me out. I mean, they would need a lot to get a KO here. They haven't played a supporter yet. Oh, they have a Melanie. I guess that works. They might have to do their V-Star power to knock me out. Ooh, they got another Pokemon. They got a Greninja, though. But do they have the energy in their hand to do concealed cards? Don't they have a Quick Ball? I guess they are doing a lot of damage. I mean, they're still doing minus 60, so we'll have to see. That's not good, though. I think they might actually have a KO here crap they do have a knockout so benching the deoxys might have screwed me over though to be fair i didn't expect them to fill up their entire bench in one turn was not expecting them to get that board completely filled up nothing i can really do about that we're just gonna have to just gonna have to try to go triple deoxys here i guess it's really the only thing i can do wasn't expecting them to fill up their board like that that is not good i do not like that I research. They might have an Echoing Horn, which I guess is kind of a problem. I should probably be careful of that. Luckily, we did get the Double Turbo. I also got Collapse Stadium. Love to play that, but I can't really... I'll just get rid of Palkia. Well, actually, I guess that's fine, though. Yeah, I'll play the Collapse here. This makes them do less damage. And, I mean, if they get rid of the Palkia, that's fine. I don't really care, because that's just one less attacker they have to use in this matchup. But they've already done their V-Star power, so... I'm totally fine with them losing... A Palkia, or even a Ralts. The point is, they're doing less damage to me now. I need this E-turn off the board, though. This thing is kind of annoying. All right, we'll see what they get rid of here. Will it be Palkia, or will it be Ralts? It's going to be one of the two. They need the attacker. That's the thing I'm thinking here, is they need this attacker. But it's also heavily damaged, so it just gets one shot by another Deoxys. So I'm very curious to see what they'll get rid of. Yeah, they're really deciding. Yeah, okay, they do get rid of the Palkia. Yeah, that's fine. So we can just max drain here for 140 damage, which is still two shots, which is good. And they do... They're doing 90 less damage to me right now, which is pretty sick. The only problem is E-Turn being in play makes it hard for me to keep up, but yeah, they're doing 90 less damage, so they're not doing a whole lot. Am I ever scared of Kyogre? I might be scared of Kyogre if they ever get that going. They might still 30 cards left and we're gonna kill this palkia no matter what because we have boss in hand there's an irida i don't know what stadium they play either that's the other question i have is do they play a stadium and if so what stadium do they run that's what i would like to know they got another palkia and a level ball they could have a net here or something but they grabbed a level ball not a scoop of nets so i don't know i don't even know if they play net there's curlia they might have cross switcher but i do switch in hand so if they try any shenanigans we can always switch all right what do they do they got an energy on greninja I mean, that is kind of the best attacker and they subspace well for not a lot of damage 110 damage that's crazy palkia doing 110 damage is pretty nuts and we can just knock him out here and heal 30 from the deoxys putting us up to 250 hp yo that's pretty sick all right what do we got another energy ultra ball okay nothing crazy it's fine though Probably want to keep this guy in the active. I I mean, okay, well, if they do Greninja, I might be forced to try to switch and heal. Actually, I just realized they are out of Palkia. They only, they're down three Palkia V-Stars. I think they're, like, literally out of Palkia. Yeah, I think they're literally out of Palkia here. Yeah, unless I have a Rod, they ain't getting that Palkia back, which is good. I might have to, might have to start targeting these Curlias. 
Oh, they bench a third Palkia V. I doubt they play four Palkia V star, though. There's no way. Now there's a Raihan. It looks like they do have the Greninja. Hmm. The Greninja is annoying. I don't have a way to knock it out. Or I don't have a way to knock it. I have a way. To, I don't have a way to to stop its damage. Is what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still they're doing ninety. Another energy. How many energy are they down? That's four. It's nine energy. No, eight energy. They're down eight energy right now. That's not bad. It's probably best for them to hit the bench, right? No, they hit the active. Okay. Hmm. That's fine. I mean. We can just KO them here, I guess. There's nothing really else to do. Need to find a Marnie, I guess. That is the big thing. I might have to... I don't want to, but I might have to make Crobat at some point. Do I just KO them here and hope we don't get KO'd? They're minus 90. I guess they could technically do Kyogre next turn. It's possible for them to pull off the Kyogre. Loki tempted to just switch here and heal. I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just going to knock out the active and just heal the active, though. It's fine. I don't think they're going to do anything this turn. Like, next turn, yeah, but not this turn. I probably should have bossed, to be honest. Maybe just KO'd one of the Curlias. I don't think I would have hated that either, though. They're down 8 energy, though. If they ever get a Guardi down, I'll knock out the Gardevoir. Do they play any O-Rod, though? Because, again, they're probably not playing 4 Palkia. There's no way they're playing a 4, four Palkia line. So... We'll see if they play an Ordinary Rod. Because otherwise, I don't know why they grab the Palkia. I guess it's like a, a wall to buy time to go Kyogre. That's the only way... That's the only thing I can assume. Okay, they're down 9 energy now. That's really good. I mean, they have the Recycler, obviously. Which is what they're trying to do. I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to heal more Deoxys here. We have to try to get out of range of Kyogre. If we're going to win this game. Okay, there's a Bucket... Yeah, they have no energy left. Yeah, they're getting ready. We need to we need to Marnie them. We need to play Marnie. If they bench Kyogre, though, then we're just going to boss knock it out. Yeah. It's in their hand. Either that or it's prize. But they haven't played Heavy Ball, so it's probably in the deck. I see what they're doing. They could win if they have an Escape Rope. No, but I would always just give them the... No, but they have the E-Turn in play. So no matter what, I'm kind of screwed... Yeah, it's like, like kind of no matter what here, I'm kind of screwed. Because the problem is my opponent can just Kyogre the Deoxys in the E-turn and win the game. Yeah, I mean, I think they might just win next turn. Oh, never mind. They just scoop anyways. All right, never mind. <laughs> they concede. I was like, they can probably win next turn. But yeah, my opponent actually opts to just concede the game here. I guess they couldn't handle the Deoxys. All right, what can we do with Deoxys in this game? Opening up with Drapion in E-Turn. Yikes. It's fine. We got net. I guess that's fine. The annoying thing is I'm going to have E-Turn stuck in play now. Because um, I'm going to have to net it. But I can't open Drapion. If we're playing against Mew, then I'm, I am still probably would be fine. Ooh, Rayquaza. Nah, I don't like that. It's not good. So, I mean, I guess we just go Arceus. And then we just net the E-Turn. And then... We go pray we draw something off the top deck. Not a great plan, but it's the best I got. So we'll go Deoxys Espeon. I probably don't even need the the Deoxys to be fair. Espeon's really the best card for us in this matchup, but gotta do what you gotta do. I mean they open up the turmoil Chloris. That's not good. I don't like that. Yeah, Rayquaza definitely could be tough. They can just one shot me, but ideally we're gonna set up a couple Arceuses and we might be okay. And they lose boss, which is good. So boss going in the discard is real, or in the lost zone is good. Because obviously we need Espeon in play. I guess they have Raikou too, which is kind of annoying. Raikou could be a bit of a problem for us. I need to get a top deck here. I need to actually KO this Ray. I would like to KO this Rayquaza. It's probably going to, yeah, I was going to say they're going to, nah, they play a rope. I'm going to go Deoxys, I guess. We're going to have to get a switch card anyways, so we'll just go Deoxys. I guess I could have went E-Turn actually. Yeah, I should have went E-Turn. Should have went E-Turn. Yeah, I think it's correct to go E-Turn, not Deoxys. I don't know. Yeah, Deoxys was probably the wrong card to go into. They're getting a lot of good cards in the Lost Zone. I mean, right away, three cards in the Lost Zone are already good cards to see gone. Hmm. I need to find, like, a Marnie or something before they get Guru in play. Best top deck's probably Marnie or Research or any supporter, even Serena. Nope. That's not it. 
Let's do this, I guess. Very weak turn. In fact, we're probably gonna get KO'd. Well, Rick, we have 330 HP. Rayquaza actually needs that goon to knock me out. I mean, we'll attach the Dio, I guess, because we can still get a DT. If we're bricking, at least we can draw a double turbo and attack. I need to draw cards, though. If I had a Marnie this turn, we'd be good, or, like, a supporter, because, like, I don't want them to set up. They already have five cards in the Lost Zone off their first turn, which is very annoying. We need to prevent that from being a problem, but we can't because we are bricking. Which I guess I could have went Crobat instead of the E-turn, but... I mean, I probably want to attack with Dio. It's also very bulky. It's hard for Rayquaza to one-shot it, right? That's also kind of the thought process there. So I need to get something here. I need to be able to play the game if I'm going to win this. I did manage Arceus, by the way, because I could draw Ultra Ball. And then we can Ultra Ball for the uh, the trusty little, uh, what do you call it? The trusty old Arceus V-Star. Then I go, mm, well, I need Switch, Marnie, DT. I need like a three-card piece combo. I should have went E-Turn, not Deoxys. I am really regretting that. Yeah, especially because they have the Colrus again. They are down a lot of energy, though. They might not be able to pull off the Rayquaza. There's a chance. There's a slight chance they can't get Rayquaza this turn. They have a huge hand. They're down through. They're down two Lightning Energy, so they actually could whiff the attack. No, they have Training Court. Never mind. There's Sableye. Sableye isn't... Do they even have 10 at the moment? 5, 8. We're almost there. Crap. Hmm. You can play the Training Court, which is cool. I don't think it really matters, but... There you go. Yeah, and there's another Mirage Gate. Should have went E-Turn, man. I guess the only problem with going E-Turn is they can still go Sableye. I mean, no matter what, they can Sableye. At least going Deoxys means I can at least attack. Yeah, we're probably dead. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. They are down... Well, I don't know. We're probably dead. Nope. Nice. All right, there's Marnie. Beautiful. Uh, Well, Poncho, Marnie... Probably gonna bench RCS. I might have to bench Crobat though, if worse comes to worse. Okay, there we go. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good Marnie, actually. Okay. I could attack with Deoxys here. Which is like almost tempting to do. The problem is they're going to knock it out with Rayquaza. But we force them to. Hmm, no. I guess I could go, I could go Starbirth for double turbo collapse stadium. No, we don't have Collapse. Never mind. I was going to say, we can go Collapse, get rid of the Training Cord. They can't get the Metal Energy back. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that now. I should probably just attack with Arceus. Then it gets killed by Ray, though. Well, they still need four energy to knock me out. Is there a reason to rope? No, because they have two Comfies. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, we'll just attack with Arceus, I guess. It's fine. I think this is fine to do this. I hope it is anyways. We're going to find out. Is it ever worth it to get another Deoxys in play? It might be. I don't hate it. How much energy do we have in the deck? Five hour chilling. I could go with second. I can go double Arceus. Hmm. I'm fine with going double Dio, though. It's the tankiest Pokemon. It's hard for Rayquaza to one shot consistently. And I think I'd rather just make it hard for them. So let's just go do this. We're going to go one, one, two. I was thinking about putting... I can't put one on E-turn. I need energy on E-turn, so I can't get Sableye. And now we see if my opponent can get a kill with Rayquaza this turn. We did Marnie them. Didn't get rid of the Stadium, which would have been very good. Had I got rid of the Stadium, we would have been chilling. But yeah, they have to really extend to knock me out here. They really have to extend to knock me out. They need four energy to KO me. They could go like Raikou to set me up to be KO'd, I guess, which could be awkward. But we'll see. There's Mirage Gate. Oh, they have it. Okay. See, now, that's why I didn't go... This is why I'm glad I didn't go Deoxys. Wish I played a Lost City, though. I did originally have a Lost City in this deck. I did cut it, though. But a Lost City would have been so cool. If I had Lost City, I could knock out Ray, and then they'd have no Rayquazes left. Would have been sick. The other downside of going double Arceus, there's a chance they play a Galarian Zapdos. So, like, I don't know. I can't risk that. Some Rayless do play Zapdos. Yeah, they got the KO. I don't think they're going to do any boss shenanigans. I think we're just, yeah, they're just going to knock out my active. Okay, that's fine. Arceus did its job. We made him overcommit. The only problem is... The only problem is I need this Ray off the board, which I can't do right now. I think we're still big chilling, though. Uh, do I Marnie here, though? They didn't really do anything. I don't really see a reason to play Marnie. I mean, they yeah, tomorrow. I don't think I want to Marnie. I think I just research. It's totally fine. 
No, they scoop anyways. All right. Yeah, I mean, that was my win con, right? Espeon makes it so Sableye's pretty awkward, and then I had to just go Deoxys. And Deoxys is hard for them to KO. They need four plus a goon or five energy, which we really make them extend for that KO. And as long as we just keep forcing them to do that, then you know, it's hopefully tough for them to win. And that's kind of the, the game plan there against the Ray deck. All right, going second, opening up with not a great hand. I mean, I have Ultra Ball Arceus, but I don't like having both Espeon and Deoxys in my hand. We're against Shadow Rider. So we need Espeon in this matchup. It's unfortunately in our hand, which isn't making it easy for us, but we'll see what we draw. There we go. Are they playing Raiding E-Turn? I think they are. Yo, Raiding E-Turn battle, heavy ball. Yo, is it prize? Nope, okay. Can they find the Raiding E-Turn? I mean, this matchup should be fine. We just go Espeon. I don't know if we need Deoxys, though. That's the question. Are we going to need Deoxys? I mean, our opening hand's pretty fine, right? We have the Ultra Ball for the... Uh, the we, I don't even need to play it. I thought, well, I mean, I probably want to get a Deoxys V-Down. It wouldn't hurt. The goal is to get Espeon in play and probably get a Leafy Camel Poncho on it so they can't boss it. Yeah, they're digging for that E-Turn. Can they find it? Training Court? That's good for us. I like to see it. Okay, they got the Rainy Eternatus because they got the Quick Ball. The question is, what are they playing? Are they just playing Shadow Rider? They could put an Espeon in play too, which is a little concerning because both of us can take it. All right, no, nah, no. Nah, okay, they don't. Because, yeah, Espeon can attack both of us. Dio top deck. No E-turn for us. Just going to Trinity Charge, I guess. We have Drapion in the deck. That's good. Drapion might be pretty decent. So we'll go one here, one here, one here. It's fine. I'll be a little careful with my energy. I don't want to put too much energy in play. Because, I mean, they're probably playing Espeon VMAX. If you're playing Shadow Rider, you're probably going to have to play Espeon. Because otherwise, you just get bodied by, like, Sableye and Evel Paul. So we'll see. I don't think we're going to get KO'd this turn, which is good. Ideally, we get the first boss on them, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Double Belt? Gee. What? Yo, what kind of hand is that, bro? They have the nuts. Golly, that's bad. I don't like that. They just had an insane hand there. Jeez. Holy moly. They get a quick ball. Yeah, we're probably going to see the attack. I can potentially KO with Espeon, though. Well, they need four. Maybe not. I think we're definitely going to go Starbirth. We're probably going to leave. I'm going to go like Marnie Poncho or something. And we'll let the Arceus get knocked out. I could go Deoxys, actually, too. I wouldn't hate that. I don't think Deoxys is going to be... I mean, the only relevant use of Deoxys is it can two-shot Shadow Rider. So I think we're going to have to probably put three Psych Energy on a Deoxys so it can one-shot... Or it can two-shot Shadow Rider. I don't ever want to put a Turbo Energy on it because it only does 180. So I need... Or it only does 180 in two turns. I need to do 160. So that's also going to be the plan. Oh, they pass. So they don't have it like that. All right, we take those. Let's go here. Serena top deck is actually kind of bonkers, to be honest. Um, we can Evo Incense for the V-Star... We'll go, like, probably Leafy Camo Poncho Research, I guess. Sure, because I'm going to Serena the Shadow Rider and get the first hit on it. Yeah, bring that in. No, Trini Nova. I mean, there's no sign of an Espeon, so we can probably go, like, we'll put two Psychic on. Again, I'm trying to avoid getting bodied here by... Espeon in case they're playing it. I want to try to limit as much energy in play as I can. I guess I could have also gotten Charon's Care instead of Research. Wouldn't have been a terrible idea either. Maybe I should have got that, actually. Probably should have got Charon's Care over Research. But I want to play the game. I probably should have got Marnie, actually, too, to be honest. Maybe it was a mistake to get Research. I just wanted to do Research to draw cards, though. But I think, looking back, it was probably incorrect to do that. Yeah, I should play Deoxys V-Star. Deoxys V-Star had been really good in this matchup, too. We could have used its V-Star power against Shadow Rider and even the main attack doing 60 to the Espeon's good. Okay, they're going to Marnie me anyways. All right, we get punished for it. We get punished and we don't get punished at the same time. Because I'm looking back, I didn't know if I wanted the research. And there's Marnie. At least we got Marnie. I mm, still want to go maybe go Charon's Care, but do you got to do? Yeah, they have the harder tree. That's That was really good. That was a good Serena. No matter what, we were probably going to gust the, the thing anyways, but the Serena was good. Let's see if they can attack me still. Because now we just have to gust that Shadow Rider up and knock it out. Because our game plan is now knock out Shadow Rider and then knock out the other Shadow Rider. We're also hoping they don't play Vacuum, so our Espeon can't get KO'd. Because Espeon, at the very least, we needed to sponge a hit so that we can wait for it to come in and one-shot a Shadow Rider. We just got to knock out one, and then Espeon finishes off the last one. That's the optimal goal. The nice thing about the Deoxys in this matchup, too, is it's the bulkiest Pokemon we have access to at the moment. Right? 
There's no energy to discard. This makes our Marnie pretty good, actually. All right, they probably got the attack, but do they want to attack? Because they're not knocking me out. If I can draw a Charon's Care, that could be pretty dirty. I think we just still Marnie. Yeah, they got the attack. Four energy in play. Espeon will not KO, but that's fine. We can take it next turn. We can draw a boss. I can just boss KO this right now. Nope. And we're just going to Ultra Ball. Um, We can go Drapion. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's go get Drapion. And then we'll just Marnie them. If they have no energy in the discard, we can potentially get a good hand. Yeah, DT. I was going to say, we get Drapion. We have like a... This way, it's like, you want to knock on my Arceus, but you also kind of have to answer the Drapion. And we'll just Trini Nova. Yeah, we have a lot of one-shot options. We can just go one on Drapion, one on Espeon. Because we have double... We have the uh, Raihan in Training Court and energy in our hand, so like, we can probably just do this. So now my opponent can go after my Drapion if they want. But then, it's like, you kind of have to answer the Drapion. But if you don't, then we're chilling. This kind of puts them in a bit of a checkmate position, the, the more I look at it. Now, if they had their own Espeon, I'd be a little shook. But then, I would use my Espeon or Drapion against their Espeon. So even if they had Espeon in play, it would have been fine. Um, they, looks like my Marnie did give them more energy, so it looks like it didn't really do much. I was hoping it would stick, because there was no energy in the discard for them to Training Court. It comes down to whether they can find a boss, though. They can go... I mean, even if they go boss, it's not like it really matters. Because I don't really see how they're going to stop me. We're going to boss KO them anyways. We're actually going to take out the Shadow Rider with the one energy on it to keep the three in play for Espeon. Hoping they're not playing Vacuum, for the record. If they're playing Vacuum, that's going to be pretty difficult. This is why having the Drapion in play is good insurance. Because at least they have Vacuum. We have another way to one-shot a Shadow Rider. But let's see if they get the boss here. If they don't get boss, it's like basically checkmate, I want to say. Because they knock out Arceus, we go Deoxys, knock him out, and then it's like, both Pokemon on the bench can one-shot you back. Question will be, do they play an Espeon VMAX? They gotta be playing Espeon. There's no way, there's no way there's not an Espeon on their deck. They could have prized it, but they, and if they're playing the V, they would have heavy ball for it. That's the thing that makes it a little sus. No, they don't. I was gonna say, they have an Espeon. They can, like, net a Mew off the board. But I guess they don't have it. Alright, do they have a boss? Do they have a Gust? Do they have a Gusting card here? They do not. But they unfortunately do Marnie my hand away, and I did like the hand. I had a boss, but that's fine. I mean, we can still KO the active. They can go with the other Shadow Rider. That actually does mess my plan up. But if they go fresh Shadow Rider, I can just nuke it with a Drapion. So it kind of works out all the same, actually. Okay, then we can just knock it out with Drapion. Drapion does 170. Yeah, so they can't play like a Radiant Gardevoir and stop me from one-shotting. Well, it wouldn't really matter. Yeah. And we just go knock it with Deoxys here, I think, which they shouldn't be able to one-shot. And the game should be over. Because both Pokemon on the bench can one-shot the Shadow Rider. <laughs> Which is pretty sick. So we're just going to go Training Court. I'm going to max drain for the knockout. And like be like, well, both Pokemon on the bench are going to KO you. That should be game over. We'll see, though. And I don't know if I have a Gusting card prize. Apparently, I have a lot of energy prized. Look at that. Two energy out of the prizes. Interesting. But yeah, like I said, this should be game over. I don't think they can one-shot me. They can only put... I mean, I guess I have Articuno. Maybe they can one-shot me, but we'll see. Even if they one-shot me, we have Drapion or Espeon, so it doesn't really matter. No matter what, we should win here. I'm hoping that I'm not jumping the gun, but I, I literally don't see how they're going to win the game at all. Like, both Pokemon on the bench one-shot a Shadow Rider, so they have to have some big attacker that can one-shot Deoxys and also can't be one-shot by Espeon or Drapion, which is, like, almost impossible at this point. So this should be GG's. They do have Articuno. I think that's an Articuno they grabbed. I'm going to assume that's an Articuno. Was it the Articuno? No, they got a boss. They go after my Drapion. In order to one-shot Drapion, though, they kind of have to walk into Espeon. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's game. We just won with Espeon here. GG's, GG's, opponent GG's. That's kind of cool. That's just one way to be Shadow Rider. We take those. Well, the Espeon, and yeah, we just do a million damage. Max Mindstorm for the KO. That's the dub. 420 damage. We even did the dankest amount of damage we could have done there. Cool beans. I take it. We take those. Yeah, let's go. It was a bit of a battle of the Raid and turn deck. So funny enough, I didn't even use my Raid and turn but you know what? We even get another daily challenge done. So we're getting all the daily challenges done, apparently. Rip daily challenges, by the way. I'm going to miss these when TCG Live comes out. They're just fun to do. They're just fun to have in the background, you know? Free 82 coins. All right, so we can do here with Arc Dio. Well, I mean, this is definitely a, f a hand. I mean, it's okay. 
Um, hopefully we can maybe get E turn here, depending on the matchup. It might be an Arceus mirror, so I actually might need the E turn so I can tank a hit from their Arceus. Watch Reggie's, bro. I mean, Reggie's is a fun time for sure. If they path me here, that's awkward. Good thing we got the least the Arceus attack off. How do we beat Reggie's exactly? Is it even beatable? I don't even know if it's beatable. I mean, we're going to try. Deoxys V doesn't do enough damage. Well, actually, it does. I guess we attack with Deoxys V, right? Because it does have Power Edge, which does 140. So Deoxys V, ironically, is the best attacker in this matchup. Okay, there we go. And they're not playing Path, thankfully. They go Pokey Stop, which thankfully gets rid of a Research. However, they have two energy in there. But as long as I don't see an Aurora energy, I don't really care. Hmm. I mean, if they get the turn attack, so be it. We do play Collapse Stadium. So that is one thing we do have going for us is we do play a Collapsed, right? So we can go... We can play the Collapse in this matchup at the right time, which is going to be the plan. So I think we just save the Collapse for the end of the game. We we wait for them to lose stadiums, especially if they're going to burn these Pokestops. Yeah, we'll save the Collapse Stadium. And then we'll just put it down at the right moment, and then hopefully it wins us the game. Oh my god, they got Aurora. I think we Marnie them here because they're down three research so i think i definitely go star i have to probably star birth for marnie i could go marnie collapse stadium i guess that's an option is my point about to get the turn one attack no but they got the the gift energy that's annoying maybe we star birth for boss hmm. i don't really want to walk into gift energy oh collapse stadium's prized of course it is all right never mind our collapse is prized f I'm content with we'll going boss here. We'll go boss plus boss plus get another Dio. I kind of like that. I don't think I need SP on this matchup. I mean, yeah, Reg Ice is annoying, but I can always evolve out of it if worse comes to worse. I am leaving myself in top deck mode, I guess, but my RC slits were chilling. Do I just KO the Reggie Rock here? Because I don't want to give them gift. I'll go after the Reggie Rock. Just so they make it hard for them to walk KO my Arceus' this turn. Ideally, I'd like Arceus to get a couple prizes if possible. Let's go like 2 1, I guess. Sure. Uh, actually, I don't. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Any good prizes? Nope, not the Collab Stadium. Ultra Ball is okay, I guess. If we can buy like another turn here, that'd be great. I wanted to Marnie them, though, because they are down three Marnies, but like. Are they down three research? But they had the gift energy on, so that would have been completely pointless. If they didn't get gift energy there, I probably would have Marnie them. They had a really hot start, though. And they pokey stop again. It does get an ornery route, but they lose another supporter in the process, which is good. And it's a Serena this time, which is actually pretty good. I need them to lose more stadiums so that I can pop off with my, uh, I can pop off with Collapse. Nice. There we go. There's two. There's two. They're probably playing four at most. There's Reggie Rock. Can they get this last Aurora to knock me out? Do they have what? Okay, they have a research in their hand because they're unless they're doing Dragon's Horde. Unless they've already done. I don't even know. No, they got the net. No. Oh, but they net the. Okay, they're going. To, okay, they want to get gift energy. Sure. Okay. 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 Well. Okay, but now now it's hard for them to move Drago. And if they attack with Drago, we can still knock it out, which I'm still fine with. There's trekking shoes. Can they find the Aurora energy off the shoe? They do take the card. And they do Marnie me, which I am fine with. My hand was honestly pretty dust. As long as this Marnie does not give them the knockout, then I'm fine. All right, Marnie. Ooh, Charon's Care. Yo, if they don't get the knockout, we can just go Charon's Care. Nice. Okay, let's see. Whip the Aurora one time. <laughs> oh, they whipped it. Okay, nice. I think they whipped it. They would have went Reggie Rock, obviously. So the question is, do I go boss or do I Charon's Care? I think I boss again, obviously, right? Seems good to me. We just go boss, knockout, Reggie Rock again. Yep. Because they're down three net. Knocking out Reggie Rock is really good. We force them to have like a twin energy pivot or something. Just again, make it really hard for them to attack me. It's really the only play I got. Do that. In case we have to retreat out of Reg Ice. All right. Give me collapsed. No! Bro, give me the Collapse Stadium. I need the Collapse Stadium. All right. This is fine. And if they attack, I can Sharon's Care. So if they don't go Regirock, they bench a second Registeel. And there's the Aurora Energy. 
There's two Auroras. So now they've, but they just bench Reggie Steel. So I don't know what just happened. Are they trolling? Do they play Thorn in their deck? All right. Okay. Air Balloon. Sure. It's actually good though that they didn't go the other way. Okay. They got to Serena. I don't know why they bench Reggie Steel. They're going to get punished so hard for this. No speed lightning. Okay. Okay. Yo, chill, chill, chill. All right. What else? What else? Yeah, there's. I was waiting for them to concede the game. Unless they were playing Thorn, I don't know why they benched that second Registeel. And we take those dubs. <laughs> I was scuffed, but yeah, my game plan was always the same. Like, Arceus them, and then go Deoxys V, and then hope that we get collapsed at the right moment. So, that was fine. We take those. And there you have it. That is the Deoxys V Max deck in action. We have some pretty insane games in this video. We have some pretty interesting matchups and some interesting scenarios we were put in. Obviously, the Deoxys V was good against Reggie's. We used the V Max quite a bit, not only as like its ability, but just as a nice bulky Pokemon. Again, 330 HP is a lot of HP, and you saw how awkward it could have been there for the uh, Shadow Rider deck and the Rayquaza deck to try to one-shot. But yeah, this deck is really cool. The Ponchos are really, really nice extra like addition in the deck. Just being able to protect your Espeons from bosses and stuff can be really deadly, especially against Lost Box. Um, yeah, the deck's pretty cool. The only thing I'd really probably want to add, honestly, would be like another net. Another stadium would be cool. I wouldn't mind playing a Lost City or maybe even a second collapsed. Like another stadium could be decent in here, but overall the deck did fine. Um, and you could even try out other V Maxes. I don't know what other psychic V Maxes you could play in here, but I mean, if you want to experiment with more ideas, you certainly could. But that'll be it for me. If you enjoyed the video on the Arceus deck, leave a like of the video. If you're new to the channel, comment down below. Help me on the way to reaching 39,000 subs. Once again, thank you all for 38,000 subs. I guess, yeah, we're on the road to 40K, so. You know, I don't know if we can hit 40k by Scarlet and Violet slash rotation, but it'd be cool if we could. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't subbed, click the subscribe button. And that'll be it for me on the Deoxys VMAX deck. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I gotta do a video on Deoxys V-Star. I just gotta figure out a cool way to play it that isn't with Arceus. But we'll figure it out when we get there. Because, yeah, I think Deoxys V-Star is a pretty cool card, too. So we'll definitely try that out at some point. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out card cabin down below. If you get any codes, use code EF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord. Check out the Shuffle Squad down below, too. Of course, uh, I post content over there every week. And uh, check out my second channel. If you have more, I'll be up content. Most recent video on the second channel, we looked at some Lugia V-Star decks post-rotation, proving that Lugia V-Star is still going to be a top-tier deck in rotation. All right, bye-bye.